I've only had uh, half an hour to spend on this today so but I'm actually quite pleased with what I've managed to achieve so I've uh, bent some metal into shape to get this sort of shape here a little bit crude but it fits and then drilled um, this plate to hold it uh, that's a little electrical connector that stops it from sliding in and out another plate on the other side and then this lever which is obviously the handle of a spoon um, so it will actually turn the head right the only problem with it is that this rather than coming in and out this way that is the axis that it's turning on so it actually goes away uh, I don't think that's going to be a huge problem because I'll drill this and it'll have a uh, sort of rod in there and that will give it just a little bit of flexibility so it can just push it and pull it it doesn't matter if it doesn't quite follow the right axis because the rod will swivel at each end um, so that will come off I think probably a lever will come up here or a pivot here somewhere and then with that rod that comes onto here and that will pull that at the right side so next job now so to actually well demonstrate that this works so make sure that that's level so that is the head down head up head tilt head back and head back down again a little bit sticky but a bit of grease and that should solve the problem so I can now get on to oh, I can see that this arm is a bit of a funny position it's I don't think it's any shorter than this one, but I think it's probably in a slightly different position. Well, I suppose that's fair enough. All right. So the next job now will be to find uh, a way of moving this arm up. And I think that's probably going to be, this is why I've left it till last, it's probably going to be one of the easiest jobs. That there is full of um, glue, hot, gun, hot glue, you know, glue gun glue. So if I heat a rod up, I could probably just push it straight through there and that will come up and down here and then it'll be easy enough to um, to move it you know with a rod up and down whatever so that'll be the next job is to make the arm move up and down but we're getting pretty close now what I've done so far since I showed last is I've put this rod in through here by Heat, I, I welded a nut onto the end of a small piece of rod, the same sort of stuff as this. Heated up the rod, pushed it into the glue and waited for it to set. Okay, Then I cut another rod, dr drilled, took this whole thing off, drilled from the underneath and put another rod in here with a bend in the end that lines up with that. So, and I've also greased it. It's also got a nut welded to the underneath here. So when I pull on this... I'll show it again the hand goes up and down with the with the phone on it so now it's going to be a case of putting a lever here that comes out through this side and with a pin on the end of it or a bolt or something that pulls that down so that's the next job so drill this here put a slot in the same as I've done on this side like that Well, after a couple of hours doing this, I've uh, put this extra bar in so that when the head goes up, that it can't turn. It's less likely to turn. It, it may be slight. I think it's all right. It, it keeps it. It's it basically a guide to guide it so that when it goes down into this, let's just check that you can see what I'm looking at. Yep. Yeah. That when it goes down into this, that it's it, at the right position and it's not skewiff. So it goes into that um, and then of course we can still turn the head the way that we want right so the other bit that we've done is we mounted we hammered a spoon flat put a bolt through going into the bottom of what raises and lowers the arm um, drill the hole right through there put a 
metal, a uh, three mil metal rod through it, bent the metal rod over using heat, made it into a hook, put the screw through, so that now swivels. And as that swivels, the hand goes up and down. Okay, the arm goes up and down. Right, so the whole idea now, and this is the next stage, is that we've got a bolt running up through here. Each one of these is going to have a bar fitted to it, and the bar is going to run down and sit on the cam. So that bar for that cam will operate the head going up and down. That bar that goes onto there with that cam will operate the arm going up and down. And this bar, welded onto that nut there, works onto that cam, and then we'll pull this and push it. So the next job will be to weld the bars on and um, sand grooves in these to make them go up and down at the right place. So the, f the first place I'll do will be to get the hand to go up because the hand goes up and it spends its time up. Let's get that out of the way. It spends its time up for the whole process and then goes down at the last minute. So this cam is going to have one small area that's up and the rest of it will be down. And then of course the bits that are down mean that it pulls the arm up. It'll have to be spring operated. I'll have to get a spring on it as well for it to work. So that'll be the next job tomorrow. Looking good though. So I've just been working in the workshop and I've made this cam so that it works. So. I do quite like these electrical connectors for for creating holding points on rods, and they're quite nice, but they look quite nice as well. So you can see the part that's coming round of that cam now, and as it hits, it pushes that down, which it has the effect of when it comes around to it. We we'll get there now. There are. I've put in the hand down. Okay. So. What I have then done is I've put this one onto here, which goes onto that cam there, uh, which then comes around and it moves this up and down on here. Um, again, I think it's going to have to be spring mounted because these only push, they don't pull. So it'll probably have to be spring mounted here somewhere uh, or maybe down there, put a spring on the end to there or something. Um, so, and I've made some marks. You see on there is that little bit of teal paint. So I know that between that piece of teal paint and that piece of teal paint, or the other way around, I'll have to check it now. Uh, yeah, no, that's it. So it's between that piece of teal paint and the other one is when I need the head to be looking down. There, yeah, that one there. So between those two, I've got to go in and grind that down. So that's what I'm going to do next. All right, so we've had some pretty big adjustments made to this now. Um, where this slot was, it was pulling it through that hole there. And because it was against the angle of direction, there were... Oh, I'll put the camera in the right place. Because it was against the angle of direction, it was pulling and it was giving it um, friction against this. So I decided, right, let's pull this in the right direction so it's going just along there, no friction. So this is um, a guide hole that I've put in. Then I put another guide hole on there and then drilled another slot, but diagonally, which you can see there. Um, and now it works a lot better. I've still got to grind down some more of this for the head to go down further, but I do think it'll work. So when we look at it now and we turn it, all right, I'm still turning the thing. I see there it goes down. So it needs to go down a bit more, but it'll do that when. Oh, I don't know. Will it? Okay, for some reason that's sticking. I really want that to go a bit more than that. Um, I mean, tightening that little hook there will probably take out some of the slack. I don't know if you can see the hook in there. Yeah, the hook there. That might take out some of the slack. Um, hmm. Because looking at this now, this here 
is not actually touching the cam so that's really at the maximum extent of where it can go so just lots and lots of adjustments at the moment um, this has been one of the toughest ones I've made actually so that's that coming down and into there ready for me to pull this lever and turn the head so that bit of it's working quite well but I'm going to obviously have to work to get the head to move down a bit more so that'll be the next job.